Hey guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X and Chainfire just now released the root method for the Nexus 9. There were some issues with the 64 bit, and he has resolved that and made the device. Uh, he's made a method for root. This is the CF Auto root method, but it is a little more manual than normal. This normally on a Nexus device, you would install a recovery and then you would flash Super SU inside of recovery. This is a little different. There's not a recovery yet, but Chainfire has released a method for rooting the device. So you will need your device OEM unlocked. I do have a video guide for how to unlock the bootloader on the Nexus 9. I'll be sure to include a link of that in the description. The next thing you'll need to do is head to this thread here. I'll have a link to this thread in the description. You'll scroll down to where it says download. Click on that. Then you will download this and extract the file. Once you have extracted the file, you'll see these three files here. You'll copy these files and paste them in your platform tools folder. So you go to your platform tools folder and paste them there. So once that is completed, uh, you will go ahead and plug up your Nexus tablet and you should make sure to go into, go into your settings and developer options, make sure that the USB debugging is checked and also make sure to give access to your computer. So when the when it pops up asking for access, you wanna do that. Now, if you have your bootloader unlocked, you will have already done that part. Uh, so then we'll go ahead and open up our command prompt. We'll CD into the folder that has our ADB and Fastboot. So we'll CD, for me it's users, Shane Starnes, desktop, Android platform tools. So of course we'll need to reboot into bootloader. So first we'll go to ADB reboot bootloader. And that will reboot your device into HTC's bootloader like so. When we're in the bootloader, we go ahead and type our commands. So the first command is fastboot boot inject dot img. Go ahead and hit enter. It'll download that and boot the device. Okay, you should see your screen turn off and then back on. Once that has completed, you'll type fast boot flash boot patch.img. Enter. And then that's going to go ahead and send that image and flash it. Okay, when it's done here, uh, you can just ADB reboot. Or you can fast boot reboot. That'll go ahead and reboot your Android tablet. Okay, so once your tablet is all booted up, you should be able to go into your app drawer and you'll find the Super SU. Uh, once you have verified you have Super SU, you might as well go ahead and open it just to make sure that the binaries don't need to be updated. Then you can go ahead and open an app like Root Checker and verify root. And you see there it's asking for root permission. We'll go ahead and grant it. And we have a rooted Nexus 9. Big shout outs to Chainfire for making this happen the day after release. Also, real quickly, so that I don't forget, it should be mentioned that some of the root applications are not going to perform properly. Chainfire says in his thread, please note that many root apps will have issues with both Android 5.0 as well as 64-bit. There may also be more issues with Super SU on 64-bit that I have not found yet. And so he also states that he's going to make sure to uh, get into updating all of that and he'll update the how-to issue with all the 5.0 specifics for root app developers so may not function totally 100 percent at the moment but it will in the coming days or weeks as soon as a team win recovery project is released i'm actually talking with one of the team win recovery developers trying to help them out since i do have a device here none of those guys actually have the device so i'm trying to give them files that they need Hopefully that'll be available in the coming days, and then you can just simply flash the Super SU. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.